Hello fellow hackers, friends and security interested people. I'm here to reflect on the new Security Operational Center Level 1 Blue Team Learning Path on TryHackMe. I think it's a really good idea that we have this learning path now. And I just entered it here from the Learn and you're going to pick Learning Path, just at the very first section here. And then it says suck level one. Now, maybe this would have written blue team, but anyways, who cares? So the whole process in this kind of learning path is you're gonna go ahead and learn about, can we have it all? We can. Cyber defense frameworks, cyber threat intelligence, network security and traffic analysis, endpoint security monitoring, wow. Security information and event management, digital forensic and instant response, and phishing. Now, I am aware that, you know, I'm already 9% done. You know, I just opened it and I haven't been doing anything on it. It is because some of the rooms are reused from old times. So, the stuff called Junior Security Analyst Intro, I did that some time ago. But, you know, I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Personally, I think. The one that I'm going to be looking forward to most is the one called Snort, because doing the Snort attacks, well, you basically the, the the traffic analysis with Snort is kind of interesting to me because it's a part of the um, overall way to you know make sure that you you analyze your traffic in a way. There are other tools you can use, but Snort is just a really good tool. You know, the one here called Life Attacks, put your snort skills into practice and defend against life attacks. I think that is a really, really good room that I suggest everyone would do. So I'm kinda, you know, up for this. I think it's a really good, interesting um, combination of rooms we have. Some of them I have seen before. I, I, I think, just to be fair, you know, collecting different kind of blue team rooms as a learning path is a strong thing to do. I would have hoped that they would not um, reuse rooms, you know, because it kind of makes it a bit easier to make these kind of learning paths and it take a little away from it in my eyes. So it would be fine if they reused maybe a few just in the very start, like introduction stuff. So that would be fine, but you know, overall, I see many of them that's been reused, and I kind of hope that they would not have reused that many. But I feel strong about this. I feel this is a strong learning path. I don't think I'm gonna do this in the light of the day right now. You know, I think I'll be focusing more on actual pen testing stuff because that is what I enjoy the most at the current moment but um, I might do the ones with snort and stuff because I kind of like the general idea about you know traffic analysis if I can find it there we go and the very first one here is, is, is learn how to use snort to detect real-time threats we can go ahead and check it out this room here how old is it I think I noticed that you, John, or whoever that is, is a bit old, but um, yeah, I think it's gonna be really good, you know, creating rules with snort, you know. Yeah, are they using community rules? So, what are you gonna do here? I don't think I got that so far. What did I do? First interaction. Mm. Sniffer mode. I've used Snort a bit before in the past, you know, but not really a lot. But I think it's gonna be rule structure. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are the things that I did to check different kind of things like this alert, TCP, any, 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 any message. The ID and the sit and stuff, yeah, yeah. So these kind of rules I, I did a lot of in the past, you know, to do different kind of recognitions and try to recognize whether you're being scanned or something like that from Nmap, which is kind of easy. 
Because nmap does put in a header in some occasions writing in map. <laughs> so that's kind of easy. Well, anyway, this video wasn't too much about me, but you know, I kind of just want to reflect upon this. I think it's a really good way to learn security operations. If you're going to do that, I recommend this. So thumbs up and just want to say happy hacking, happy blue teaming. See you again online.